free. What's poppin', what's poppin', Tim? It's your girl, Promise, and we back again. Hey, I didn't make that my intro. Oh, God, that was actually kinda good. <sighs> you guys, my phone. Apple, get it together. If I don't have any storage, I should still be able to use my phone. This is ridiculous. Just cause I have 8,000 pictures? Really? 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 What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Promise, and I'm back with another video. If your mom ever hits you with a rat tail comb while she was doing your hair, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right now right now for your hardships so today we're gonna be refreshing these box braids y'all because they're old and dusty i've had these box braids for almost a month i got them on the 21st of december and today is the 18th of january so it's time it's time to get these refreshed and every time i redo my hair it be looking real good afterwards obviously that's what i'm gonna doing it but I want to show the process because I used to do like, I found it complicated to refresh my hair with knotless braids because it's kind of hard to hide the hair. Like it's very much there. Like it's hard to hide it. Whereas with like braids that have knots, you can like wrap the excess hair around it. You can like twist the hair in circles and stuff and it'll look fine. But with knotless braids, that don't work. It's not gonna cut it. So I found this method on TikTok, I believe. Don't know who I, whose video I seen, but I seen it on TikTok. And my friend Keandra, shout out to Keandra, she told me she used the, the method. It's the crochet method. She told me she used the same method and it works really well for her. So I started doing it. Now I haven't done it on braids this small. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes out, but I think it'll be fine. And I tried to wait a good ways, like let my hair grow out a good bit because I have done the crochet method before and it was too tight because I hadn't let my hair grow out enough to crochet it. So yeah, I've, it's been about a month, so it's been long enough. And I have like, me and Cosmo are going to the movies in like an hour and some change. So I have to do this within like an hour. So here we go. Now my plan is to only do like the first couple rows. Like I don't want to do my whole head. Like I'm going to start with the first two rows, but I'm probably going to end up doing more than that. Cause I just have so many braids. Like, <sighs> and we're just going to work our way across my head. Now I'm also not going to do like these three because these ones are on like very sparse pieces of hair. Anything I'm probably just gonna do my edges and make it look clean, but not actually do the crochet method. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Um, so let me start off by showing what things you're gonna need for the crochet method. Crochet needle, obvious. Beauty supply store, super cheap. I'm gonna use some hair oil. This is Moisture Miracle, five essential oil, strengthen and protect. Just use any hair oil. I have a ton of hair oil. This is just one I picked out. Um, edge control. I'm using 24 hour edge tamer, extra mega hold. This stuff works like a charm. My favorite edge control to use. Um, jam, that's what we're gonna use for the basis of pretty much getting all that hair together, putting it back into the braid. Um, some mousse. I also have some box braid spray um, by African Royal. Also my mousse is um, Thank God it's natural. This is like one of my favorite natural hair brands. Um, yeah, I use their mousse. And a blow dryer to set everything. And your scarf. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start and just show you guys how I do it. Um, maybe we should just start with this one. I really want this video to be quick. I don't want you guys to sit here and have to watch too much. Now for my front ones, where I would typically do my edges, I'm gonna use edge control, but I don't want to use edge control throughout my whole head because sometimes it can turn white and like, it looks weird and stuff so I only use edge control on my front row and I use jam everywhere else that's just what I do for myself that's my preference um, I'm gonna start with oiling my whole head actually and then spraying my hair no let's spray my hair and then oil it <laughs> so we're gonna spray the box spray shampoo it's spray on shampoo all over our head make sure you get the back Might as well get it on the hair too. It's pretty much for your scalp, but it makes your braids smell good. 
How long do you guys usually keep your knotless braids in? I'm curious. Because I feel like a lot of people go through the struggle of like keeping them fresh. And I have this problem where I've been wanting my hair to look fresh all the time. Like I if if I could get box braids done and they stay fresh for like three months, that'd be perfect. And I wanna maybe potentially lock my hair. And if I get my hair locked, I'm gonna want my hair retwisted every time it grows out. And that's just not realistic, promise. It's just not. Okay, we're going in with the oil. I'm really trying to concentrate it on the scalp. Really massage it in there. Hey, you got it. <laughs> you get to make the pants. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Nice. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look more fresh in the front because I got almost like a fro is growing in front of my head. So I'm trying to use this method that I found on TikTok. Yeah. And it's supposed to make it look like I just got it done. Shout out to TikTok, man. <laughs> follow me on TikTok. Come subscribe to the channel. Yeah, follow him and subscribe and follow me and yeah, all the things. Can I come help? Oh. Alright. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, let's start on this side. Like, I almost feel like I should do my edges so I can know how much to leave out. Like, honestly, when I get my hair done, I get my hair done by an African lady, so she doesn't really know how to do edges like that. Shout out to her though, because the braids be clean every single time. They're gonna be clean and crisp. But she don't really slay edges like that, which is okay, that's fine, I can do that. But I prefer for my edges to be done when I get my hair braided. Africans have the tendency to like really grip all of your hair when they braid it. And I be liking to have a little bit of edges, especially since I got a big forehead. So I be liking to have a little bit of edges out. And I don't like having to take them out my braids because then my braids get fuzzy faster in that whole situation. But anyways, I think it'd be helpful to do my edges as we go along my head so I can know what hair doesn't need to go back into my braids. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. I mean, I'm gonna do these two, but for some reason it just seems more beneficial to start with this one that I have out. So I'm gonna start with putting edge control around the whole thing. Really getting in those extra hairs that have grown out. Really gripping the hairs. That's all I'm doing right now is just gripping it getting all the extra hair in it. Pretty much that all gelled away. Got the, edge, the edges that I want gelled out. And while I was also gelling around the braid that I'm about to do, I also gelled um, the braids around it. Gelled the hair in the right direction so it's out of the way. Yes, so I'm gonna go underneath the braid Sorry I'm doing this side first. I'm gonna do one on the other side so it's easier for you guys to see. Crochet needle under, underneath, through the braid, close to the root as possible, right? We're gonna take the end of the braid, put it through the hook, and we're gonna pull through. And look at that. Fresh. No extra hair hanging out on that one. Okay, let's do another one. That was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and do these two off camera and then I'll come back and I'm on this side so it's easier for you guys to see. I have finished this side. This is what it looks like. Definitely looks better. So I only did, um, I didn't go this far back. I only did three rows. But as you can see, she made these parts mighty small, you guys. But we're pretty much just trying to recreate the parts that were already done. So that's good. That's solid. Okay, we're gonna move on to this section now. And I'm gonna show you guys this one on camera so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Start off by gelling the base. 
And you want to go about an inch up the hair. Like I'm pretty much gelling the excess hair to the beginning of the braid. Really getting it in there. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't twist it. And I think our default is to want to twist the hair into the braid, but I didn't want to do that and then crochet the hair through and then it gets tangled or knotted or anything crazy. So let's, you don't have to twist it. It'll come out fine if you don't twist it. Really gelling those extra hairs out the way. Using my edges brush to really get those hairs in there. I'm gonna go underneath, right through on the scalp. Loop the hair in there. Pull it right through. There you go. Brand new. Now, don't get weary, you guys. This part is just like the foundational fix, but adding that mousse and doing the blow dryer really seals it, okay? Trust me. Trust me. I mean, and you can go as far back as you want. When I was younger, my mom, my mom would braid my hair and she would just, like, she would give me box braids and she'd just do the front two rows over and it looked like I had a brand new hairstyle. So... As long as no one's staring at you from the back of your head, you should be fine. Plus, I feel like it'd be a little bit harder to get the parts right if I was trying to do the back of my head. Okay, so another row done. two rows <laughs> that's okay I'm just gonna show you guys a little side by side here you bet look at that you can definitely tell the difference yeah fresh out the salon don't play with her I think I'm gonna take these $200 braids out they're actually a little bit more than that these are like 260 can y'all drop in the comments how much y'all pay for y'all? These are like medium. I actually asked for them to be bigger than this, but it's fine. I didn't want them to be this small, but I asked them to be bigger because I didn't want to sit for that long. But then I ended up sitting for that long anyways. I think I sat from like, I think I had my appointment was at seven and I was done at like four, three or four o'clock. So not that bad, but I just didn't want to be there for that long. Yeah, get your full money's worth, ladies. Get your money's worth. Okay, let's move on to this other half I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the other half off camera because you guys already seen the method on how to do it so I think you're good also one thing I didn't mention too make sure when you pull it through after crocheting crocheting it and really give it a good tug because what's happening is it's when you're adding that hair to the braid and you're crocheting it underneath it's pretty much grabbing the hair and looping it underneath like that so if you don't pull it it'll just sit or sometimes it won't even go all the way through so it'll still look it won't be flat like you see these ones are laying flat so once you crochet it through make sure to pull it and flatten it down and it should be fine okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the other half okay guys so we're back I have finished this side just wanted to show you guys that um, <clears throat> for the side where I have sparser edges this is if you also have sparse edges and we're wondering how I freshened that that side I did just twist it instead um, I took edge control and pretty much grabbed the extra hairs that were around it and just twisted it back like so and just did that so that I wouldn't cause any more pressure or tension on my edges because it does get tighter when you do the crochet method so that's just if you also have sparse edges and we're wondering um, but yeah we're pretty much done with the crochet process let me give you guys a little show up the other side cleaner Oh, so this is what we're looking like. 
looking really good, really fresh already. Yeah, this looks good. Part this down the middle. I will say this was a tad bit more complicated with the parts being small, because I would have typically recommended you guys to use a rat tail comb to really get the parts right. But these parts are so small, it's too hard. But if you're watching this and you have bigger braids, pretty much just do the same method, but I would gel one half of the part, like one half of the row, then gel the other half of the row, gelling it together like that pretty much, and then take your rat tail comb and part out each braid and then re gel it together, crochet, like that. That's the only difference I would do if the braids are bigger. But pretty much it's the same method. Okay, so parting the hair down the middle, I'm going to go ahead and take my mousse. And I, I don't like to lay mine like flat like this. And then mousse it, I really wanna get the mousse in these crevices where I just refreshed the parts. So we're gonna kind of diagonal the braids back. So we can really expose those rows. Have your scarf on standby. Where is my scarf? Found it. Okay, scarf on standby. We're gonna take our mousse and we're gonna lather my whole head. Really get in those parts. This is gonna help lay down those hairs that the crochet didn't get and also freshen up those parts and lay down any um, flyaways you have on your braids because my hair my natural hair probably stops right about here so laying down my natural hair that's peeking out season right now my hair needs to stay done this is the season where right when I'm thinking about taking a hairstyle out I need to be thinking about what's the next hairstyle and I don't got time nor the energy nor the money to be trying to rethink of another hairstyle so we're just gonna keep this one in because the braids look good also I'm gonna show you guys how long these are these are really long braids they go to my butt and they're still in good condition they are really nice braids my hair hasn't started frizzing out of them too much so we're gonna keep these in as long as possible. We're gonna let this, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and blow dry. That's the next step. We're gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. And the heat will really help set the mousse in. All that fun jazz. And this took me like 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes to do. Not that, not that hard. Um, I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer at pretty much high heat, mainly because I'm in a rush, but it really don't matter. Um, but I'm gonna go high heat because I wanna get this over with. And you want to make sure it's completely dry. Like, I don't like when I am doing the whole moussing situation and I'm blow drying and I take my scarf off and I can still see mousse in my hair. Because when it dries, it's not going to dry laying down. It's going to dry curled up and sticking up. So, with it like this, it's going to dry laying down, which is what we want. So, here we go. for about five minutes I think she's dry I think honestly I would recommend doing this and then going to bed and then taking it off in the morning but I got places to be so purr pert yeah I did my big one I did my big one look I just got my hair done so I can get the complete look. Oh my gee, it looks so good. Edges on fleek. Honestly, I would relay my edges, but it's fine. 
Oh, I wanted to say too. Um, I would have used this. I would have used these hair wraps, these wrapping strips. These work really well. I just didn't use them this time because I was in a rush. I was in a rush, so didn't use these, but these work very well for when you're trying to relay your hair. Honestly, I might do it tomorrow, but um, wrapping them on your edges, wrapping it down like this under your chin, it's gonna look kind of stupid, but it works. Wrapping some across this way under your chin and wrapping some back this way and back behind your head, it's gonna get you right. Blow dry it and rip that hoe off, it's gonna be crisp. Got those from Beauty Supply Store. But okay guys, this is the finished result. So we're looking like, usually I'm right like this. Sometimes I'll do a middle part, I'm feeling spicy. I might do a middle part tonight just cause it's fresh. All right. Okay, that's it you guys. That's the end of the video. Hopefully that helps you guys and now your hair is looking fresh like mine. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting more natural hair content, protective style content, so that's what you're into. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification button as well so you can get notified when I post videos. And yeah, that's it, that's it, that's all. Peace, y'all.